So I just ventured out of our hostel for the first time. This place is like a maze, but I love it. And I went to the ATM to get some money, and it basically gave me a hundred dollars in the equivalent of two dollars. <laughs> We survived the night in our hostel last night. Sorry if I was a little bit of a diva when we got there. But we're gonna stay three more nights now. At this point, I've done like hours of research looking for somewhere else to stay. And I've pretty much decided that the place that we're at is about as good as it gets for the price that we're willing to pay. But we're really excited about our first day in Zanzibar. Today's agenda is eat. Apparently the cuisine here is the best, so we're just gonna walk around and eat what we see. Also, the city is built like a maze. My little ATM adventure this morning was a ton of fun. So we're just gonna wander around the city, get lost in the maze of buildings, and then there's a few like touristy things that we should stumble upon along the way. So many people want to sell us so stuff right now. We just started walking and we were looking for the seafront and we found it. Somehow through the maze of all the buildings. I love this place so much. It's like a mixture of like Hanoi and Vietnam, just like the crazy little streets. And then like for some reason it kind of feels like Nepal with like an African influence. It's awesome. It's so cool. Love old boats. This is so cool. I don't even know how these things float, but these guys are over here fixing this boat. That boat definitely shouldn't be floating. The old sailboat's the coolest. The sail looks like 500 years old. It's like a massive piece of canvas that would weigh like 2,000 pounds and flip the boat over. I'm so sorry about this terrible spot that's right around in here. It's been there since yesterday. No clue what happened. Obviously something got into the camera, but my sister and her husband are meeting us in Portugal next week and we're gonna try to get them to bring us a new camera so we can get rid of that. I've come to a fork in the road, trying to get back. They look the same. That way. Or that way? I think this way. It's so, a miracle. <laughs> Got we, back to the main road. We wandered through like a hundred different alleys on the way to the beach, which took like 15 or 20 minutes to get there. And then we wanted to get back to our place because there's a local place that's supposed to be really good for lunch. And somehow, first try, with no map, we made it back. Not with any of my help. <laughs> and this is where we're grabbing lunch. It's supposed to be like cafeteria style or something like that. I think everyone else read Lonely Planet too. No locals. But it was supposed to be the best place to get local food. So what is that? That looks delicious. What is this? This is a Zanzibar local rice. And this? This is Chapat. He's going to tell us everything is. This is called the Ekcho. This is the Mandaz. Heads up, Kia. You're in the kitchen. <laughs> this is the scones. And this is the coconut bread. Sim sim bread. Yes. And this is garlic bread. This is fine mandazi. And that is sambusa. This is the rice, rice bread. And this is the chicken. I would like uh, the local rice. 
I think that'll be plenty. And then um, the, the octopus. Hilarious. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, the same as you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Miss these. We call this like an egg, egg drop or something. It's for the temperature. Oh. <laughs> we know you like samosas, so try that. Nate's turn to try the rice. The guy behind the counter suggested that we get the local rice and also octopus coconut curry stuff. So, got a little adventurous and tried exactly what he recommended. The rice is really sticky. Nice. A little sweet, maybe some coconut. Yummy. It's really good. Can you see the, the suction cups? It's kind of like tomato base. Ah. Because the only octopus I've ever had is like super chewy. I will say that's the most tender octopus. Carol, what was the verdict? Lunch was. I'm a little disappointed. I think maybe Lonely Planet ruined that place. So all tourists were in there. I don't know. All the food was just room temperature. Almost really good. looking for this place. According to our maps, we were right next to it the whole time. This is the first sign that we might be in the right spot. 30 minutes later. We found it. Now Nate is paying the tourist tax to go into the museum. At least the tourist tax comes with a guide. We'll actually know what we're looking at. And we're doing another museum. I'm gonna say by the end of this, we'll be sick of the museum, but kind of take the time to learn about things once you get here. strong enough to be their slave. And it happened right here. That's where the post was. There's a guy buried right here who would buy the slaves in Zanzibar and then he would set them free and then he built this whole village for them to live and he built this whole church before he died. And now he's right there. What a cool guy. We just entered the slave chambers. This is slave chambers where slaves were kept before taken to the market, so they often. 75 slaves will be kept in here. Slaves lived here for two to three days. Most of them died because of suffocation and starvation. <laughs> I'd say best museum we've been to. Yeah. That was really good. It's intense. Very intense. What happened here? We'll leave it at that. Our big day wore out. So we both passed out for a little while this afternoon. But now we're going to eat again. There's supposed to be some like sunset night market where a bunch of vendors set up and we've heard really good things about Zanzibar pizza, which is not actually pizza, but that's what they call it. It's like they're just starting to get set up. This man is going to town on some onions. Yummy. Uh, Zanzibar pizza? Yeah. I will be back here. <laughs> Promise. Thank you. This is what I want. Okay. That is going to be so good.
What's happening? We're having the Zanzibar edition of diving in the Olympics. <laughs> Seems like it's just for fun. Keep my promise, came back to these guys. There are tons of options for pizza. I think I'm gonna go veggie wow, nice. and cheese. And then Nate's gonna go to another stand and we're gonna see who this is better. It's delicious. Did you put ketchup on it? I got ketchup and chili. Nice. <laughs> it's delicious. I think this is my new favorite street food. Yeah? It's like... That is a huge statement that you just made. It's like so many things that I love. Veggies, cheese, egg, fried. Look how huge this banana is. I mean, that thing is like. How do you think this banana is so big? Time for dessert. Thank you. Oh my gosh. This is a Mars bar, Nutella, and bananas covered in chocolate syrup. Mm. It's bringing back memories of roadies in Thailand. Oh, we've never had a Mars bar on it before. Dinner far exceeded lunch today. I tell you, we had a successful first day in Zanzibar. Now, if we can just navigate ourselves back through the maze before it gets dark. Dinner was so good. <laughs> Been craving chocolate all day. Finally got it. <laughs> No shame. You know how people tell you not to walk in dark alleys? You have no choice here. It's just all alleyways, and now it's all dark. There is a nice light right here, though. Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>